any preacher that is causing Ausa Fulani people is not a servant of God. It does not matter what he's doing. It does not matter the amount of crowd. And if you are in a congregation where they are causing Ausa Fulani people and you are saying amen and you don't walk out of such a place, you are not a Christian. You are not a child of God. People say, no, we are not causing them. It's the kidnapping that we are causing. Is it the kidnapping you are causing? Are they the only tribe that kidnaps? Your own tribe also kidnaps. There are bad people, wicked people in every tribe and in every race. Jesus has commanded us to love our enemies, to do good to them that hate us. It is preferable for us who are believers to even die. For them who are not yet saved to have opportunity to be alive. What do you understand by Christianity? What do you think Jesus went on that cross to do? You think it was to win comfort for us. Oh, you want to live a comfortable life. Oh, they are a nuisance to you, but you want to live a comfortable life. My dear brother and sister, that is not Christianity. We must love one another. Do I want to be kidnapped? No. Do I want bandits in my life? No. Are there bandits? Yes. Are there armed robbers? Yes. Do they belong to one particular tribe? No. Go to every country. You see people who kill. You see people who maim. Our duty as believers is never to hate any tribe, to hate any race. In fact, if you hate any tribe, if you hate any race, I want to say to you, you are not a Christian. You are not born again. You don't even know God. You may have been going to church for 30 years, for 50 years. If you hate anybody, the Bible says he that hates his brother and claim to know God is a liar. How can, you, how can you love God that you don't see and then you hate your brother that you see? It's, it's, it's not just possible. We don't hate. Christians don't hate. No matter what they do to us, we don't hate. I remember the story of this woman in the United States. Her husband and her daughter was killed by a man they were happy and feeding. They went to court. When they wanted to sentence that man to death, this woman came to plead on, the, on behalf of this killer because she's born again. She came to plead and said they should please not kill him. That she had even forgiven him just the way Jesus forgave her. You see, that is Christianity. I'm not saying it is easy. But we have the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ to be able to do all things. We must love everyone. We will pray even for the bandits, even for the kidnappers to come to know Jesus and repent. Not for anybody to die. Not to curse anybody. Since you have been cursing, since you have been praying for people to die, has anybody died? Has the situation improved? Why are you deceiving yourself? Unless we live by the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are not Christians. God bless you.